Hey guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's, and today I'm making a fall wreath. Most of it is from the Dollar Tree. Super easy to make, no glow, glue involved, so you can take this apart and reuse it for another holiday. And if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned, it's coming up next. Okay, what you need is a grapevine wreath. I got this at Walmart quite a while ago. Um, as you know, I don't like to glue. I like to reuse my wreaths because, first of all, I think it's a waste to just keep buying them over and over. And secondly, I don't have a place to store them. So I make all of my wreaths, or at least the majority of them, so that you can take them apart. So you start with the grapevine wreath, and we've got ribbon that I just got at my Dollar Tree. I found this beautiful sign, and this says exactly what I want my wreath to say. And then you're going to need florals. These are the ones that I got at my last haul. Not quite sure which ones I'm going to use yet. And you need wire cutters and a chenille stem and that should be about it. Okay, we're going to get going with a bow. This is my five minute bow and I've shown this before and I have three yards of ribbon and what you're going to do is you're going to make a loop and twist and that way you keep the right side of the ribbon facing up and you want to keep your thumb in there and make sure it stays where it's supposed to. Okay, you want to make a loop that's just a little bit bigger than the center loop and you twist. And always remember to give it that twist. And this is wired ribbon so it'll fluff up like crazy. And you want to make this one the same size as this and you twist always keeping the right side facing up. And you want to make another loop the same size as this one. And twist. And repeat. Now the next one you want it just a little bit bigger than this one. You can see there's not too much difference but it is a little bit longer. And twist. And pinching them up is an easy way to make sure you've got them the same on both sides. And twist. Now you have your center bow, or your center loop. You have one, two, three, four on that side. One, two, three, four on this side. I'm going to twist it again and you're going to make a loop and this is going to be your tails and you decide how long you want your tails. And you can be real long and cut them off. You can leave them kind of short. These I'm going to cut off just because I know what I like. And then you're going to tuck that back under 
And you see everything's being held by my thumb. And then you're going to use the chenille stem. And this is going to anchor it and hold it all together. And you're going to give it a twist. Keep that nice and tight. And then your tails you're going to cut. Now you're going to fold them together. And you're going to start at the fold of the ribbon and go out to the wire. And this gives a dovetail end. Here, pull it tighter. And then there's your center loop and you want to go pull these two apart and then pull these two apart. And when I was a floral designer, we used to have to make these bows like crazy for customers. And this is the fastest way to do it. And they always look nice and fluffy. Okay, now I've got my bow all fluffed out. And you can keep playing with this. This is wired. So if you want them really loopy, you can make them as full as you like. And they twist easy to come down or come up, but however you want it. Just play with it till you've got it the way you want it. Leave these, <coughs> sorry, leave these on the back. This is what you're going to anchor the um, bow to your wreath. Okay, now we're going to take the ribbon and we're going to wrap it around the wreath. And the main reason that I do this is because it adds color to the entire wreath. without having to go too crazy with the amount of florals that you use. And try and get this back far enough for you to see. What you want to do is poke this underneath your grapevine. And your grapevine is going to hold it in place. But when you're ready to get to change it out, you have no glue to fight with. You haven't wasted the ribbon. You can reuse it next year, use it in another project. But we're just going to go around and around. And I'll be back after I finish wrapping it. Okay, I've wrapped this all the way around. And you may want to straighten it. You may not. It's up to you because once you get the flowers on, half the time you don't see it anyway. But you want to go into the back. Oh, let me move you up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you want to go to the back. Cut off the excess. And you're going to tuck this underneath that same piece of grapevine that you started with. Let me see what I'm doing. There we go. Just going to tuck that underneath there. And that's held in place. So I have used both spools of the ribbon and now I'm going to attach the bow. And what you want to do is you take your ends of the chenille stem and you're going to put it on either side of some grapevine. You need grapevine in between so you give it something to twist. So Tuck this one down in here because I see a nice big empty space. And feed that through to the back. And then I'm going to tuck this one right there. 
Ooh, maybe I'm not. Okay, I'm going to take the chenille stem and I'm going to put it down into a space that you can see all the way through, and that way it'll go to the back. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oops. Okay. I'll lay it down. Let's see if I can find that end. If not, I'll have to thread it somewhere else. I see it. There we go. You know, I did this over the ends. I did this over the ends of the ribbon in the back. And I'm going to bring these together and give them a twist. That locks in the ribbon that's on the wreath and it locks the bow in place. Now, I have two ends here. And I'm going to twist those together, just the ends, and then I'm going to flatten it down, and there's your hanger. And of course the bow's going to need refluff since it's just been laying on it. And you just fluff it up the way you like it. Okay, now I'm going to put the sign in. Okay, I got the sign where I want it, and all I did was I hung the hanger right over the bow. And that bow's going to hold it because it's been wired in. You can see there's the hanger, and it's right over that boat. Okay, now we're going to start cutting some flowers. Okay, I've got all of my foliage cut, and I have some orange daisies and some yellow daisies and some white mums, and they're all cut at... <sighs> I don't know, I may have to cut these shorter, but what I'm going to do is place them into the grapevine. And I'm letting the grapevine do the work. I'm not going to fight with this, it's going to tell me how it should be. I know that sounds weird, but once you start doing it, you understand. Okay, now letting the grapevine work for me, I'm going to tuck this down into the grapevine. a little long, so I'm going to cut that down. And I'm going to add a couple of daisies to give it a little more color. And I think some leaves. And I'm just going to keep playing with this until I get it the way I want it. And this isn't going to be hung on my drawer until after Labor Day. I'm going to try and keep both sides about the same. And keep fluffing that bow when I need it. You can see I tuck the tails down behind the sign to hide the 
string. And these will stay in place. That grapevine is really good at holding everything together. Like I said, you want the grapevine to work for you. And after fall, you can take it all apart, save your pieces, and do more for next year. And we'll be back when I get this done, but that's it so far. Okay, I got it done. It only took me a few minutes. I rearranged a few things to my liking, but it's done. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. The grapevine is holding all the flowers in. So no matter how many times you slam your door, it'll be fine. And if something does get knocked out, you just shove it back in. After fall, take it apart. You've got a grapevine wreath to redecorate. And you've got all the flowers and stuff to use next year. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.